Hey, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make our cozy cabin cable throw. I'm using Titan bulky weight yarn from Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim has provided me with the yarn for this tutorial. This is a bulky weight number five and I'm using the color tan. You'll need two hook sizes for this pattern, a 10 millimeter as well as a 6.5 millimeter. And these are streamlined hooks from Furls Crochet and I'm using the Aries color. I want to mention that this is an intermediate tutorial. You will need to have intermediate crochet skills in order to do this. This is a complicated cable pattern. You can slow down the video by clicking on the gear icon and slowing down the speed, but you do need to be familiar with front post double crochet, back post double crochet, and front post treble crochet stitches. I'll also be using extended single crochet stitches in this pattern. We're going to begin this pattern with the smaller hook, and the reason is, is once we start into the cabling, it's really going to pull. So if you use the larger hook at the start, you're going to have this weird flare out, and then the cable is going to pull the blanket in. So dropping quite significantly in hook size is going to help just even everything up. So what we're going to do for the throw size blanket is so we're, we're going to start out with a chain of 117. So put the slip knot on your hook and let's chain out 117. So once you have 117 chains, we're going to work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. We're going to turn the chain to the side so we can see the back bump. And we're going to work across the back of the chain in these back bumps. So you're just working single crochet stitches. In the back bumps across. Okay, so we're going to end up with 116 stitches. Okay, so once you've worked all the way across, we're going to chain one and turn, and we are now to the wrong side of our work. So the first row is the right side, and we're going to just work across in single crochets. So 116 stitches. Okay, so now what we're going to do is chain to our larger hook and we're going to start setting up for the cable pattern. So we're gonna chain one and turn. And how our pattern is going to work, we're going to have four extended single crochet, 12 stitches for the cable, four extended single crochet, 12 stitches for the cable, et cetera, across. So we're starting with four, ending with four, and our cable stitch is a total of 12 stitches. To, so to get it set up, we're going to start making front post double crochets, and that will prepare us for the cable. But we're going to start out with one, extended single crochet, two. So to do the extended single crochet, we're going through the stitch, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, pull through two. So I have four. And this stitch right here, so one, two, three, four, we're going to start doing our front posts. So we need to do that across 12. I know it's gonna seem like this hook's really big, but this cable will really pull the work together. So we needed to start off small. Okay, so we're doing those front posts. So again, you need to be familiar with these stitches. 
I'm going to work through this fairly quickly, but you can slow down the video by clicking on the gear icon and changing the speed. So we're going around the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So we're working around that post of the stitch rather than going into the stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna work across 12. And then the next four, we're going to do extended single crochet. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we're going to repeat this. So we're going to do 12 front post doubles and then four extended single crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. You can always tell by, okay, we worked this post here, one, two, three, four. So right here is going to be the next post we're gonna work into. And providing you work into all the right stitches, you should come out even at the end with your four stitches. Okay, so I'm going to work this all the way across. Okay, so I've worked all the way across. I've ended with my four extended single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn and we're going to start working back. And this row is similar except that we're doing back post double crochets into our established posts. So work one, two, three, four, and then we're coming to our post stitches. So we're yarning over, going from back to front, two back, so we're going around the post, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. So now we're working across back post doubles into the established posts. So it's a little bit um, quicker in that we've got these already established, but the back posts can be a little tricky if you haven't done them before. So just continue working this across. So extended, once you get to our four extended, we're working those. Let me just keep working across here with you. And it is really important to count your stitches with this pattern so that you don't get off track. And there is 12. Okay, and now we'll work across one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just repeating this all the way across. Okay, so now we're going to get into our cable. So everything's set up now, we're back to the right side. So let's chain one and turn. We'll start out with the four extended. Okay, so now we're going to get into the cable and if you're following along with our written directions, it's going to be written out as four slash four left front post treble. So if you look under the special stitches, there will be an explanation on how to do this stitch, but in the written pattern, it's just going to be abbreviated so we're not going through this big long direction every time. So what you're going to do is a front post treble. So we're yarning over twice, 
we're going to skip the first four posts, one, two, three, four, and a front post treble into the next four. So yarn over twice, go through, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and one more. Okay, now what we're going to do is go back over the front and work front post trebles around those four stitches we skipped. So this is the easier of the cable because we're working over the front. So yarn over twice, we're going all the way back to our first skipped stitch, working our treble. And as you can see, this is tricky, so you do really need to know how to do these stitches before attempting this pattern. Go to the next one. Yarn over twice. And it's really important to count. It's so easy to miss stitches with this pattern as well. So we're always working in fours, 12 stitches for each cable. We wanna make sure we don't miss any. Okay, so this is my fourth. We now have four front posts remaining and we're just working front post doubles across the last four. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll be working extended single crochets in the next four. Okay, and now we are just going to repeat this across. So you can slow down the video, you can rewind, rewatch, and work across the remaining section of the blanket. Okay, so I've worked all the way across, ending with my extended singles. I'm going to chain one and turn. We'll work four extended, one, two, three, and four. So now what we'll be doing is working back post double crochets across our cable. So the first four are easy to see right here. One, two, three, four. And this is again where it's really important to count so we don't lose any. So now these four are coming across here. They're next in line. You can see they're attached. So we need to get these next four. So this is five. Six, seven, eight. Okay, and now the next four are tucked in here to the front, so we gotta make sure we get them. So there's nine, ten, eleven, 
11 and a 12. Okay, so we've got the 12 of the cable, but you can see how tricky that is if you're new to these stitches. You really need to know how to do those back post doubles. So I've grabbed all 12, and now I'm going to work an extended single crochet the next four. Okay, and then we're just going to repeat that now across. So continue with back post doubles across your 12 and then four extended all the way across. Okay, so I've worked all the way across ending with my four extended single crochets. Chain one and turn. So again, we'll start out with four extended. One, two, Okay, so now this is the more complicated cable of the two. So if you're following along with the pattern, it's going to be our four slash four R for right front post treble. So four slash four R front post treble. So the first four stitches, as you can see, they're tucked in there. These ones are going up. These ones are tucked. So this time we need to do our front post doubles in the first four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to do our cable. So we're going to skip over these four. So yarn over twice, skip one, two, three, four, and a front post treble into the next four. So there's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so now this is the trickiest part because this time we have to go in behind to work through these stitches instead of going over top like we did on our other cable. So we're going to yarn over twice. I like to push my work to the front and then that just helps me see. So you need to find four stitches. It is hard for me to show you this on camera. We're coming back, working around that first skipped. Yarn over twice. Next one, the third, and you just want to make sure you get all four. Okay, so you can see if you pull it all back that now your stitches are going up underneath and it's gonna give us that intertwined look that looks so cool. And then we'll do an extended in the next four. And we'll repeat that all the way across. Okay, so I've worked all the way across. We're gonna chain one and turn. And now we're back to doing the back post double crochet row. So this is our eighth row and the fourth row of our repeat. So we're going to work extended single crochets across the first four. Three, 
four. And then we're going to do back posts. So again, you wanna look at your stitches. So we're coming to these ones first that are tucked in here. So one, two, three, Last one's tucked in there. Okay, four. Now we're going to, you see what's attached? So these ones now we're coming to next. We're going sort of over the top. So one. You can feel them with your fingers or always turn your work to look. So this is my eighth. We always got to make sure we get all 12. Okay, so the last four are tucked down here. Nine. Ten. Eleven and twelve, and then one, two, three, and four. Okay, so it's starting to come together and now you're just going to repeat this all the way across. Okay, so I've completed that row and now we're just going to repeat the pattern. So we're repeating rows five through eight for the cable pattern. So that's a total of four rows. So we're just going to keep repeating that. So if we start back across here doing a row five, we'll work four extended single crochets across. Okay, and this time we'll be skipping over the four, working trebles into the next four, then we're going back over top, and then we end with four front post doubles. Work four extended, and we're just repeating that across. So I'm gonna pop up directions on how many repeats you'll need to do for the blanket. And then once we have that completed, I'll meet you back up again. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you on this smaller swatch how to do our border. So once you finish working the total length of your blanket, we're going to finish off by changing to our smaller hook and working a row across of single crochet. You're going to work a single crochet into every stitch. So I'm working on a smaller piece here, but you'll be working over your total of 116 stitches. So now we're going to edge the blanket with a slip stitch edging, and this will just set us up for our border and give us a nice clean edge. So I'm going to chain two for my corner and then you're going to work slip stitches down the side. Now you'll be working three slip stitches for every two rows of work. So just refer to your pattern for how many slip stitches in total you'll need to work. As I'm going in this bigger space here, I'm doing my two. So I'm going through this space and then I go through this space, working my slip stitch. And then when I get to the bigger space again, I'm going sort of into the hole and then through that section. And then that gets me the three across two rows. 
So you're at your next corner, you're going to chain two. And then work in every stitch along the bottom. Okay, so you're going to continue and then do the same thing up this side evenly slip stitch you want to make sure you have the same number of stitches on your other side as you worked on this side and then we're going to slip stitch across the top and i'll meet you back over at the end once you've worked all the way around we're going to slip stitch in that chain two to join and now we're going to start working our border around we're going to chain three, and this is going to count as our first double crochet. And we're going to work two more double crochet in the chain two corner. Now work a double crochet in the back loop only of the slip stitches around. So you find your slip stitch here and you're just going down through the back loop only and work all the way down to the next corner. Okay, so once you get to the chain two corner, we're going to work three double crochets into the corner. Okay, and then continue working double crochets in the back loops only. Okay, all the way around. When you come to your next corner, again, you're adding three doubles in those chain two spaces and you're continuing all the way around. So I'm gonna finish that up and I'll meet you up at the join. So once we've worked all the way around, I'm just going to join into the top of the chain three. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to work a front post around this chain. And in the center double crochet of every corner, we need to work a total of three stitches. So what you're going to do is I'm starting with a back post. So I'll do back post, front post, back post all around this stitch to increase it. But depending on where you come, so if this one, we end with a back post, we would go front post, back post, front post. So just stay within the pattern doing an alternating a back post and front post and just work around the middle stitch whatever you're coming to so I need to start with the back post for this one back post now around the same stitch I'm going to do a front post and a back post again all around the same stitch So the front post was the middle stitch for this one. So you can mark it. Just so you know the center for the next round. So I've done a back post so now I need to do a front post. So we're always alternating. So back post. front post back post okay so we're working this all the way around so I'm gonna work to the next corner and then I'll meet you up coming up to my corner so front post so this one's going to work the same way we're going to do a back post in the center in the center stitch we're again going to do a front post 
and a back post again around that same stitch. So we've increased it again. And again, you can mark this stitch with a marker if you need to, to make sure you remember what is the center stitch and continue working that all the way around. Okay, so I'm coming to my next corner. This time, the corner three stitches, I'm going to be doing a back post. So you'll get to see here how it will work the opposite way. So here's our center double crochet. We're going to do a front post, a back post, and this time the back post will be the next center stitch. And then we're going to do another front post all around the same stitch. Okay, so this time we can mark that the back post is that center stitch. Just so you stay on track for the next round. And then just continue with your front and back post double crochets. Okay, so once you get all the way around, I am going to slip stitch in that first front post to join. I'm going to chain one. So now I want to work a front post around that first front post. And now I'm going to remove this. We need to do a back post. And then this was the center stitch. So this is the one we need to go front post. Then do a back post around the same stitch. And then back doing a front post around the same stitch. Then we do a back post. And you're just continuing around in this manner. Okay, so now I'm not, this will be the final round that I will do, but you can always make a larger border if you want. You could even keep it with just this round and that will look fine as well. Easily modify to your preference. And you can even customize your border. So let's say that you're not a fan of this ribbed look, you could very simply just do a double crochet, plain double crochet border around, sort of how we started. Continue working that, or you could do it single crochet. You could work single crochets around and just have a simple single crochet border as well. So really you can easily customize this to your liking. So I'm gonna continue now. I'm almost done with this ball of yarn for my swatch, so I probably won't completely finish it, but you're getting the idea when you get back around You'll just want to again slip stitch into the first to join, fasten off, and weave in your ends. So you can see here that our border is adding about two inches to the width and the length of the blanket. And as you can see here with us doing that nice slip stitch edge, how it really gives a nice clean edge where the border begins, which I really like this look. 
it's a little bit maybe tedious working around the entire blanket with that slip stitch edge, but you can see how beautiful it looks when you finish it. So a few other tips I want to mention is that this yarn does come out really soft once you wash and dry it. So make sure to follow the instructions on the yarn label. But if you're using the Titan Bulky, you can see that it's fairly stiff, but once you wash it, it's going to come out nice and soft and you're really going to love how the finished product looks. Also, I wanted to mention if you want to sub this out for worsted weight yarn, you can do that. You'll just need to make the blanket bigger. So that's not a big deal. You just need to add more stitches and more rows to get it to your desired size. So for this pattern, I would take your 12 stitches and your four stitches, so 16, and add multiples of that onto the pattern if you want to make it bigger. You could add some more rounds for your border if you want but it could easily be made if you have worsted weight yarn in your stash that you want to use up. You could definitely sub out the bulky weight yarn and make it in worsted. You definitely want to see your blankets if you make it in bulky or super bulky or worsted weight. Make sure to send us an email, show us your picture, or use the has hashtag MJ's off the hook when you're posting to tag us in your photos. Here is our finished blanket. It turned out absolutely gorgeous. It's thick and chunky and warm, and it will make a beautiful statement piece for your home or cottage. The finished measurements are 52 inches by 58 inches, so it's a perfect size throw to cuddle up in on the sofa. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, Please subscribe to our channel and tap the bell to stay updated on all our new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day. Mm -hmm.